Hello there, Internet. Um, I'm Eichenbahn of Lux and Hemlock, and uh, this is an, kind of an introduction, airy video, to um, hopefully the book that I am going to write. Um, and uh, welcome. Uh, this is going to be the, the first video of a, like a, uh, kind of an ongoing series of my... Troubles and tribulations with trying to like achieve achieve my dream. Um, this is the world of Muse, um, and I I just kind of I thought it would be really interesting to be able to look back like once I'm finished like once I'm done to be able to look back at this and like see where I was coming from see if I see if I met my own expectations when I started to write this and uh and I feel like I feel like it could be useful it could be fun for other writers it could be uh, a chance for them to see like like what drove me to do this and also as just kind of a a way for me to communicate with the other areas of my life like um like Dragon Ball Infinity that I'm kind of you know, putting, putting slightly aside in order to, to start doing this, um, so that they, so that they can experience kind of like what is going through my heart and why this is so important to me. And so, uh, welcome, welcome to the world of Muse. Um, I hope that one day, uh, this is going to be a book that I can share with you. Um, and I want to, I want to tell you about it. I want to tell you about it, internet. Um, and I'm not gonna go over the the major themes, the major stories, and like the the characters that I that I've dreamed up. Um, I just want to uh, first acknowledge the the purpose of this book and the reason that I want to write it so deeply and so badly, and why why it means so much to me to do it. And ultimately, what it really comes down to is uh, depression. Um, and the people that help pull me out of it, like the the people in my life who who came to me, and I I don't want them to feel as if their words like passed over me in some way. I don't want them to feel as if the the things that they said did went unnoticed. Um, I've struggled with depression my entire life. I've always like I've always had a problem with it. I think in the last like eight to ten years or so I've like I've finally kind of gotten a handle on it like I still have dark moments I still have dark times um but like nowhere near the level that I had um ten even ten years ago um I've struggled with you know uh I know this is a difficult topic I know this is like a a hard thing for people I know that I know plenty of other people that struggle with this but like you know, I, especially in my younger years, I was very, um, very suicidal, um, and, um, and I, and I, and I fought, and I fought for my well-being in this world, you know, I fought for the ability to be able to think and to, and to be happy from day to day, and I think, I think those that have known me long enough can, can see the positive change, can understand the difference in the person that I am today versus the person that I was like ten years ago. Um, I I hope that they do because I like I can't recognize my younger self, and I think it's an I think it's important to uh, to acknowledge that like you know I did go through therapy. I like I I have struggled with things like I you know I've gone through prescription medicines I've like I've I've done the whole gambit of it but like the thing that always stuck with me was that there were there were people who loved me around me who who spoke to me and I don't want them to ever forget that they they changed my life that they made me who I am that that maybe in some ways the only reason I'm here is because one of them might have had a conversation with me at some point and that 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 really really matters like that is the core 
of where this book is starting from. It's like, I want to make these people know that, like, they they saved me. Um, you know, they they helped me. They they help they help me. And like, there's conversations like after I've like I'm I'm a weird person. Like, there's been times where like friends leave my house and then after they're gone, like I sit down for like an hour or something and I write down the things that they say. Or the things that they've said, and it has left an impression on me. And there, there will be, there will be quotes in this book. There will be characters in this book that represent my friends and my family members and the people that loved me, and the people that that tried that tried so hard to to make my life better. And that, and I don't, I don't want those things that they said to be gone. I don't, I don't want them to vanish. And and I, I want to share them with the world. I, I want, I hopefully want to create a book that that acknowledges how strong and how powerful that that feeling is. And so that's Muse. Um, and I'm going to give you like the brief introduction um, of of the core concept of this book. I hope that it resonates with you. Um, Muse is a a world of dreams and forgotten monuments, a world of remnants and unfinished works, a song of soul without its coda, a painting of the earth unvarnished and unframed, a sculpture of stars still frozen in eternity's black marble, a world longing to be complete. But the creator is either dead or abandoned this work, leaving it stranded from time and purpose. Only the Inspirio reached, uh, remember the touch, the voice, the face of the goddess who raised them from oblivion into creation. But even together, they cannot fathom the final work which was drafted in her visions. These are the primers and the world muse, uh, the world that yearns. And, um, Muse, I, I started writing the ideas for Muse probably, like, three or four years ago. Like, I, I started to, like, really get them together. And, uh, you know, like, there is that core concept. I, I want, I want to address that, like, it is so important to have people who love you and to that, that anxiety and depression and, like our the, the like the the mental aspect of what we go through is so difficult and I I want to express ultimately that that this is a work of like this is this is my gratitude. This is my thankfulness for those that have been with me the whole time. This is my like this is my my gift, my present to those people. Like I I don't for I haven't forgotten the things that you said to me. Um, I haven't. It was. It was never lost on me. Um, it meant something to me, and I know that a lot of people in the world they don't get that. They don't get those chances. And, and, and also, Muse is the idea that like, you know this. I have created so many worlds in my head. I've created so many worlds, some of them, you know, left unfinished. And so like in in that that preamble like like I am the goddess. These are these are the worlds that I orphaned, that I abandoned, and by writing this book, I am I am going to finish their story. I I am going to finish their story. Um I am I am going to do it. And so, uh, and I and I hope you'll be with here with me here on this journey into doing this. Obviously, there's elements of this that are like so far beyond. Like I've spent the entire weekend since I finally decided like they like this is this is the thing that I'm doing. That um, like 
review like there's there's so much to to really consider when you're doing this and i want to come from it with a place of like of open awareness and like really loving understanding um of myself and the people in my life and i i want this to be a gift i want this to be the the best gift that i can give the people that i have like truly reached out to me and like truly loved me and so um i hope you join me on this journey as i as i write this book and i i hope some of this resonates with you um and i hope that i get to share with you some of the things that were said to me and if it and if it makes you feel the way that i have felt about it then um i hope that when it's finished it's a you know it's something that that you can hold on to too and then I can share that goodness that was shared with me all all those many times. And um, you'll learn more about this world if you if you keep watching these videos. You'll learn more about this story and maybe just my journey with writing it. Um, and I don't know if the final product is going to be something wonderful or if it's going to be something um, mediocre, but like it, it will be... It would be a fantastic revelation for me to, to do it. And, and I hope it resonates with you. Peace out, Internet.